Changing climate is leading to some environmental nightmares in our oceans, some that we may not have ever even considered. But it turns out that purple sea urchins have multiplied and that they're wiping out kelp beds. Some have suggested reducing the numbers by creating a commercial market for purple uni. But as NBC Bay Area's Joe Rosado Jr. shows us, there are challenges with bringing them to the table. Along the Mendocino coast, Scenic vistas bring a sense of wonder and contemplation. But below the ocean surface, signs of an environmental tempest. Warming oceans and a sea star wasting disease have allowed purple sea urchins to multiply unchecked, wiping out the kelp beds. About 90 to 95 percent of the kelp is gone. This is kelp parsnip. So forget me not. In the tiny Mendocino town of Elk, you have stinging nettle. Anything growing in the vicinity of Chef Matthew Kammerer is fair game for his 12 course meals at the Harbor House Inn. There's a milk thistle for your liver. But here on the rocky beach, if you're a cook here, you have to have a tide chart. Is a potential ingredient that's in no danger of running out. Pretty wild. Everywhere you look, the smoking gun of environmental disaster purple sea urchins. Like there's probably a million in this zone right here. We'll go down basket buckets, um, just walk out into the tide pools and start to harvest. The sight of so many purple urchins is startling. For Kammerer, it's a sign their numbers are multiplying even as their main food source dwindles. All this is supposed to be out there, but since there's no kelp out there anymore, they've moved in. Camera cracks open some to see if there's enough of the highly prized orange uni on the inside. Yeah, super little right there. These are stressed out. He loads his basket with enough to serve his dinner guests. They're full too. That's why I go to a certain zone and I'll crack a couple to see what it's like because it's also not guaranteed. A lot of them are just hollow. There have been efforts to reduce the purple urchin numbers. Divers routinely go out and crush them, remove them. But there's another tactic. Scientists are hoping to create a commercial market for purple urchin by making them a delicacy. Researchers with the Bodega Marine Laboratory in Bodega Bay have been experimenting with a process to feed starving, empty purple urchins to fatten up their uni. The goal is by making them desirable, divers could collect them by the thousands, giving the kelp a chance to recover. In essence, we develop a recipe that the commercial uh, industry could take as a starting point and actually develop a viable industry. Another hope is that chefs like Kammerher will inspire a frenzy for purple urchins and dent their population. His urchin hall is headed to the Harbor House kitchen, which boasts two Michelin stars. We're going to do a dish of savory egg custard with two types of sea urchin, one being the purple and one being the red. Red sea urchin harvested in nearby Fort Bragg is firm and flavorful. Yeah, these are all starving. But here's where the reality of the purple urchin is evident. This is melting. We can't sell this. This is five minutes and it's completely gone. These starved purple urchins are mostly empty and what little uni is inside turns to liquid. Inconsistency is the biggest issue for the lack of market. It illustrates just some of the challenges in trying to manage these creatures. That is the reality of it. But these purple urchins won't end up on the table here tonight, just the red. But scientific innovations may yet land them on other menus in the future with hopes of taking a bite from one of the ocean's most prickly issues. Joe Rosado Jr., yeah. <laughs> NBC Bay Area News.